Yo, what's good everybody? It's the strongest wizard here and tonight is fight night. We have Mastermon versus Imperial Dramon. And I know this is a video that we see, a matchup we see often, but I feel like everyone really likes to see this matchup and I feel like it's pretty important to understand how to beat this matchup in either side. I know sometimes people feel like Mastermon has the upper hand and sometimes people feel like Imperial has the upper hand and by experience, because I run Masty, uh, we lose that one. Um, not consistently, but it's we have it's a bad matchup. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. All right, so here we have me on the right, and we have uh, Inferno on the left. He's a local at DXN. Um, here he starts off with a uh, Kenan Davis bricks pretty hard, which is the best thing for me uh, i go into the gato get the cyclone i have no other cards uh to go in raising so that's why i get that and that's the only target so uh, he just goes in hard plays the stingmon uh which is pretty good for me because now i can go into lady debbie for one i draw my three which i end up only drawing two uh which was a misplay uh but i end up drawing two uh and i'm figuring out what to ditch i go i ditch the magna because my thought process is, is that if a hell scythe isn't security or trash, I have that as a resource. I go ahead and digivolve into Ofani, popping the Stingmon to control the board and recovering one. I could have gone into Masty, but I just feel like it's just too soon. Early Ofani is really, really good. So now he just goes ahead and plays the Lydramon, um, which is fantastic for me. Um, I just go ahead and swing, um, and I just go ahead and play the Hell Scythe. Uh, I play the Hell Scythe, bringing back the Magna, killing the guy, and then recovering one. Busted. Um, so it's not looking too good for my, <laughs> wow, my competitor here, and he just passes because he doesn't have anything. That's really unfortunate. Uh, he goes into, I hit a fighter mode, which is great because now I can get three cards, two, possibly two cards. I get the, go ahead and get the Lady Debbie. I Evo for one. I draw one, two. So now I didn't misplay there uh so i go ahead and drop two lusamons which is great because i now i can go into the masty for one essentially i check out my security and then i'm just going to replay out the lusamon pop the tamer um and uh i'm pretty sure i swing here because why wouldn't i yep swing and it hits the davis and man davis is such a good card netting him two cards here um uh, Pyodramon and the Vmon, and then I just go ahead and play a Kari. Now that he has a, a memory tamer, I just go ahead and play that. He goes into the Vmon, uh, continues the search here. He grabbed the Stingmon, yeah, the Stingmon. Stingmon's so good. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure he's just gonna digivolve here just to set up for next turn. Yeah, goes into the Lydramon. I go to three off Kari. I raise, and now it's pretty much really difficult for me to lose here. Um, I swing Lusamon and then I just swing for game here. Yeah, pretty rough. But hey, game two, he makes me go first because he wants a ton of memory. Did you evolve into Psychmon and then I just go ahead and play Kari. Not the best start for me, but not the worst. Um, you know, uh, he with four memory, he can do a lot here. He goes into the Vmon, goes into the, um, the uh, XV. Sorry for the glare. Uh, he plays a Hammer Spark. And then he's at three now, so yeah, just play uh, the Vmon. He's probably gonna get the Lydramon because it's Lydramon so good. Because in case you don't have the blue or the green, you can go into Pyudramon or uh, DNA for either color, uh, which is pretty good. Um, and yeah, he's debating to play the Hammer Spark here because he doesn't want to put me to four off the Davis. So um, yeah, I mean it's fair. Um, Vmon and uh, Elydramon there. Uh, he sw I swing with the Psychmon. I'm just trying to get some chip damage in, cycle through. I don't really have really much anything. Um, so I already know the Pyodramon's coming. Um, so I'm already assuming that I'm going to get bottom decked, which is, um, you know, obviously a really good play. Uh, bottom decking a level five hurts really bad. Um, so he just goes and goes on under, but he doesn't have jamming. So this is really big. Um, he swings, of course hits a black Gato, <laughs> never punished. Swings again, Gatamon. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty good for him. Uh, and then he just goes and plays uh, the Vmon. Um, 
I go into Psychomon. Psychomon should be helping me out in this matchup, but uh, it is very situational uh, when I do play the Psychomon. <clears throat> and I just Hell Scythe here, bringing out the Black Gato, um, hoping that I hit three, uh, two cards to grab from. I don't. And my thought process is, is that if it stays on the field, uh, I can go into Mass Index turn. And if it doesn't, well, then it doesn't. <laughs> I don't really have much of a choice here. It's the Angela Mont, which is really good here because I always love to keep a level 5 in trash. And then, wow, into Hell Scythe. Uh, the DP won't matter, but having a level 5 yellow is really good for the Masty play. And now, if the Gato survives, I can go into Masty. I can Evo into Lady Devi and then go straight into Masty and wipe his board. Uh, but, you know, there are so many ways for him to get rid of the Gato or the. Andrew Wilmon. And yeah, he just goes into fighter mode. Uh, puts it back to my hand. Um, let's see here. Um, I have a couple options here. I could Digivolve in Raising. Uh, and then go into the Gato. And then Digivolve into Lady Devi. But uh, I'm not too sure here exactly what I had in my hand. Um, hmm. I don't know if I see the Masty in my hand yet. Um, and I do believe I have a Chaos Degrade in my hand, so I'm debating whether to Chaos Degrade him. I'm also debating whether to swing at him, uh, just to get that, just to get a little bit more chip damage. And yeah, that's what I end up doing. I swing. Uh, hits into another Davis. <laughs> Severely punished. Um, go ahead and gets Pyodramon and Vimon. Um, yeah, I am eyeing that Chaos Degrade here. Um, but I actually end up going into the Ofani, drawing one, recovering one, tapping Kari to gain the memory, keeping it my turn. And uh, I think I play the risky the risky business here and go into the Chaos Degrading, degrading him, putting him to eight. My thought process here is I put the fighter mode on the bottom, trash the top in case the top is a, cave, a Davis and Ken or a Hammer Spark, which it wasn't, sadly. But just in case we do that. I have three security left. Uh... <laughs> I'm telling him to swing because <laughs> just to play it risky, why not? Uh, he goes and plays the Stingmon, and then he goes into the Pyodramon. Gonna get him another two swings. And if he has Hammer Spark, he can just go into uh, an Imperial Dramon again and just win. Oh, and he just, he dies. Doesn't have the XV, so he doesn't have jamming. And that is, now it's looking rough for him. I have three swings next turn. Um... Yeah, and I'll, I'm going to be at three. So this is looking pretty rough. Uh, but he only needs one security to go through left. So if he has double Lobo or double Kumamon, he has game. Um, but it looks like he doesn't have it. Um, he's got Ice Wall and two Mega Deaths. Um, he can definitely Ice Wall me here to not lose um, next turn. Uh, if I have a fourth attacker. But... Yeah, this is a tough one. Um, I probably would have, I'm, if it was me, I'd probably play the ice wall for sure. Um, just because knowing, knowing what I have on my board, no matter what, I'm gonna swing multiple times the following turn, even if he ice walls me, even if I can't kill him next turn. Um, so he goes and plays, yeah. So he ends up playing it's not too safe. Uh, he's assuming that I can't get the fifth, which is pretty pretty fair not to get the fourth attack but i hit into a fire mode which is amazing because now i go to the black gato and now black gato has rushed so i'm gonna swing this has to be a mega death or else i just win and yeah i just get it with the defeat crazy all right guys so that's gonna be it for today um you can kind of see um you know when you brick you just brick and that's pretty much how it goes that's how it really happened with game one but Unfortunately, I want to make sure I show you guys really good content and entertaining content as well. But, you know, now that Mulligan isn't really a thing, uh, bricking really is a thing. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. And please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot. Um, so, till next time. See ya.